This is Doug Clifford, who plays drums for Creedence Clearwater, who's been there since the start, which was how long ago? Uh, Eleven years. Did you, when you first started, know what you were doing? Not at all, and I still don't. I'm working no. on it, though. I'm working on it hard. No, as a group, though, did you ever have an idea of what kind of music you play? Just rock and roll. Stu Cook here plays bass. Stu, have you ever run into a situation where you didn't like one another or you had a very, very bad argument? Yeah, we checked our equipment quite frequently. <laughs> How did you hold together? Uh, it's hard to say. I, I don't, it just happened. Like, uh, it just, as much as we hated each other, it all came back like we liked each other more than anybody else. I don't believe a word of it. How many it's years has it been? Uh, almost 11, I guess. Let me switch down to the end here. Tom Fogarty. Tom, uh, how would you characterize this music? Characterize? Mm. Rock and roll music. It's, it's the only uh, logical or you know, explanation. It's just there's all those terms that people have invented, but it's really just rock and roll music. Does it come as a contribution of all the members of the group? Oh, absolutely, always, yes. John Fogarty, you write most of the material for the group. Why on earth did you select as the first recording a thing called Suzy Q, which you didn't write? It's probably the song we've been playing the longest, so we figured, you know, if we, <laughs> if we had it down for 10 years, maybe we'd make a record of it now. <laughs> what was the first gold record you had? Proud Mary. Let me hold it up here because I want people to see it. This doesn't happen very often. What were your feelings when you got this gold record? Well, after waiting a long time, I, wow, it's hard to describe. It's just elation, you know, and sort of a personal triumph, too. You know, you, we went after that, I suppose, 10, 11 years ago, and finally getting one was kind of a great reward. All right, when it comes in terms of, uh, of an album, what did you feel when you got your first gold album? Well, that was sort of icing on the cake, because the single was sort of the main the main part. You know, I thought the album would be a whole lot of singles. I didn't think of it as an album getting a gold record. I don't know. It was, uh, it was the second thing that came along. It wasn't quite the same as a single. Yeah. Let me pull something from the album that you haven't seen as yet. This is the thing called uh, Bootleg that you've never yet, yet seen before. Uh, we put it together and it looks...